This collection started with observations, um, but my observations and, and, and the team here, the design team, um, part of what's happening in the world, actually, one of the, maybe one of the only good things about it is it slowed us down a little. Um, we have time to reflect and to really look. And, uh, and, and that's basically what's informed everything with this. It's, we're, we're calling the collection life, and obviously it's such a grand, grand thing, but it's, uh, it can also be very small. It's the tiny parts of life. And, um, and to, this, to start it off really was, was exactly what is life like here now? Like my life, the design team, you know, as we're working together, but also everyone else's. And uh, we uh, decided to do a, a project with Kasper Kaushik, the uh, photographer. Um, and it was very much trying to capture these parts, these little bits of life, the kind of often, uh, often overlooked, mundane, transient parts. Um, and, and that, the photographs that came from that then became our, the fundament, I guess the fundament of the whole collection, but also very much then the print story. Working together, we were putting all the, the photos up and, and in a way, quite quickly and clearly, the framing and, and, and putting them together uh, almost became the frame through which we look at, at life. And, and that was very much the kind of really important, I guess, angle for us. Um, in, in one sense, in a really obvious sense, it, it, it became almost like a CCTV screen. Like I'm, you know, thinking back to kind of the the big underground TFL screens where you're, you're viewing everything all at once. But at the same time, then you look in the little image. It's a tiny little part of part of life that otherwise would be overlooked. It, it becomes powerful when you're looking at it all together. Um, and and this framing and this voyeuristic observing um, was uh, became then the kind of the structure through which then we we did everything and you see this this uh 
these frames again through the patterns, how we're quilting um, all our outerwear and and, uh, and then also obviously the, the kind of the, the prints on, on, on the dresses and the shirts and, and everything. The transients from the prints and uh, what we were looking at the and it was obviously it was seeing life in an indirect way through through shadows or reflections. Uh, this idea of of a of a kind of indirect portrait was again something something I absolutely loved uh, that came from from our from our project and then the fabrics we chose were very much informed by this the moleskin and raw denim wax cotton leathers fabrics that kind of live with you and that after a while that really kind of show you and, and exactly even from the shape of your body to what you do uh, these really subtle kind of tells or, or I mean in a way it is a portrait uh, that really felt kind of important to us and uh, and honest as well and uh, not just that the fabrics it was obviously the the kind of the functionality of of these uh, these garments that the fabrics are going into um, the wax cotton is rain wear and obviously one of the looks this huge bucket hat became really important because this is an autumn winter collection and in Stockholm it should be about snow but the, with the changing weather patterns um, it's completely uh, arbitrary now like it, I've been here a year and a half and the first time I saw, saw snow is when we filmed uh, we filmed the catwalk on the boat and uh, so it's very much a deliberate choice merging the kind of clothes for the warmth and for the elements with with things that shouldn't have been there um, in Sweden they have this phrase there there is no such thing as uh, it's bad weather, just bad clothes. So it's very much looking at this and, and kind of playing with what does that mean now, and um, and the the kind of the last the last uh, the last kind of or well, summation of that uh, was the film, and it's it's and when we filmed it over two days, no, and it was every it was every uh, weather pattern you could have for, in two days. It started with darkness and, and snow and it finished with darkness and snow and in between was glorious sunshine and rain and wind uh, so it felt really right when we were filming it really reflected uh, everything we've been thinking of um, and of course it's it's a journey on a ferry which in Stockholm means a commute it could be it, commuting from one part to another what might feel fantastic to somebody else who isn't here is very much commonplace in every day uh, it's a million miles from being sandwiched into the Victoria line uh, in itself it's it's beautiful and so it's just playing with that playing with this thing that um, no one really thinks about here they just get on the ferry um, but what if you then you know you, you make a nostalgic nod to the catwalk none of us can have now the this kind of element of show and fun and and that's that's kind of I guess from the start to the end we started from something really banal and and every day which obviously the everyday is changing and then brought it all the way uh, to something fun. And so the film then becomes a summation of this. It's a uh, summation of everything kind of we see then in the rest of the collection. It's uh, taking something really banal and, and overlooked uh, and making it fun and, uh, and bringing a bit of, uh, a bit, just a bit of enjoyment to it. And uh, I certainly enjoy making it. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, thanks very much for taking the time to do so.